Hi everybody and welcome to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bisons are Great American Conference champions and for the first time in school history a Bison football team has won an outright conference championship and only the second time in school history that a Bison team has won 10 games in a season. Coach Huckabee, what a day on Saturday. Uh, it's hard to express. Mm -hmm. it, there's so many emotions and thoughts that go along with that day but uh, just really really grateful to a wonderful bunch of coaches and players and administrators and support staff and radio broadcasters. It's just, it, it was just a great day for the Bisons. Talk about the piece we just saw a few moments ago that Tim Hamilton put together, the celebration. You, you took a bath right. and then you got the game ball after it was Sometimes all Sometimes a Gatorade bath is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I think those guys took care of me and it was actually water, not Gatorade. So not near as sticky, but yeah, you know, Jensen Jackson, who you know I dearly love, and and uh, Terrence Dingle, you know, brought the ball over to me, and uh, uh, just uh, you know something I'll never forget. It, it was awesome. So the Bison's victorious on Saturday. The defense. We can't go very far into the show without talking about a dominating performance by the Bison defense on Saturday. Right, and you know, we, at going into the game, we knew how dynamic these guys were offensively. At one point, late in the season, they were the number one offense in in the conference. Uh, been at the top statistically all year long. Uh, Reed Miller, their quarterback, has had a fantastic year. You know, they are they were leading the league in pass offense going into this particular game. So the fact that we held those guys to 12 first downs, seven points, 220-something yards of total mm -hmm. offense was an outstanding performance by our defense. And really the only, you know, the only score came after a turnover where they had a very short field. So... Uh, extremely proud of those those coaches for the hard work they did, the game plan they put together, and the young men for executing. It was a it was a great performance by our defense. All right, again the Bison's victorious, 24 to 7. We have some good highlights to look at on this week's show, and we'll start with the first half highlights right after this. It takes a lot to know what is love. All right, don't hold back now. Give me all you got. There is never a day Maybe baseball is your game. Hey, pal, bring it in right here. You were always there for me. How about golf? Okay, uh, um, choke down a little bit. Guiding me, Straight. always to succeed. I wanna thank you for that. Appreciation. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Back on Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bisons won the opening toss, deferred the option right. in the second half, and the rain came in. We were not expecting that. It was uh, some difficult conditions with the rain and the wind early on. It was, and you and I talked earlier about Park's comment. He said that holding on that ball was like holding a bar of soap. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was tough. Dalen Skidmore's first sack of the season. Right. And, uh, of course, Dalen has played great for us all year long and has been a stalwart in that, in, on that defensive football team. You know, we, we had a great drive to start the football game, our first possession. Uh, didn't have any huge plays, but we held on to the football and uh, we're establishing the, you know, some of the basic plays in our offense. That's the midline option, double option and park all the way down the field and we run the toss play to Zach and he's down inside the 15 yard line and we're off to another great start but there's that wet football that we were talking about earlier yeah. really difficult run the toss play this was a conversion play for us and Zach Shelley did a great job tell you what this was a great job by Cole Blickenstaff sure was uh, yeah. that was a tough situation in which to snap the football and he got the ball down and Tristan knocked it through and that was our first score of the game up three three to nothing great pressure again that's Cordell Zelensky uh, and our defense is 
is uh, playing in a dominant fashion as we start the, our, our move into the middle part of the first quarter. And very early on, Corey Bassett, they would punt the football. Obviously didn't want him handling the football right. there. And here comes Eric Simmons. There's Eric on the counter play, and he has done a great job with that play. Eric is such a dynamic football player with the ball in his hands, and he has done a great job blocking this year. There's the midline option again with Park on the carry. And we run the counter again, and there's what I'm talking about with Eric Simmons. Great job in the open field. He makes guys miss. And you, know, you notice that we're already into the second quarter. Uh, you know, I looked up after our first possession, I think there were two minutes left in the first quarter. And indicative of this, and there's the turnover, uh, that you know, when you have limited possessions and you're having long drives around the clock, uh, you know, a turnover will just kill you as far as your, your opportunity to score. Uh, the time of possession this game was unbelievable. There's the, t the pitch on the triple option right there. I believe that was Grant Kimberlin. It may have been Eric Kelly. And there's Park again on the midline. Pitch again. That look at Zach Shelley working out there on the perimeter. And Eric Kelly with the ball in that crease. Gets the ball inside the 10. We run the dive play to Michael Latou. Michael all, all the way down really close to the goal line. Some very important third down conversions on this drive. Right. We, our third down conversion rate in this game was super. I think we we're 10 out of 15. That's 66%, which is tremendous. And what I was saying a while ago is the time of possession. We had the ball basically 42 minutes in this football game, and they had it 18. And that's, that's winning football. Corey wishes he had that one back after seeing how much difficulty people were having holding on to the wet ball. You know, that certainly was not a good decision by him, and that ended up giving them their only touchdown of the day. I think we felt like we had stopped him there. But the score of the game is 10 to 7, and not much time remaining in the second quarter, and they kicked the ball to Corey. And he gets some great blocks in front of him and hits that sideline. And when he got right there, I thought he's got a chance. But their kicker did a great job of cutting him off. We ran the triple again. And uh, we got the ball to Grant. We wanted a shot at the end zone. And we were able to take a shot. You know, there at the, the last play of the half, we didn't convert. But still, we had an opportunity. And that's really all you can ask for when you're dealing with that little time remaining in the half. You talked about the time of possession. That's one of the things I wanted to talk about right before the half. 22 minutes, your football team had it in the first half alone. Right. 22 out of 30 is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And as I said a while ago, you take the two turnovers, the one that we had the ball inside the red zone and the one that we gave up inside our own red zone, basically. And, and if we convert that and eliminate that bad turnover, then we would have had control of the game earlier. That's what turnovers do. Turnovers... Uh, create close football games and uh, you know that's something we've done a great job of all year long is taking care of the football and uh, but when the conditions are like they were Saturday then it, it just overemphasizes the importance of ball security and you got to you know you got to do an even better job and we've seen the Bisons throughout the season have great success at the end of a half. Now to have it flipped over on you to where Northwestern Oklahoma scored right before the half right. and to see the way your team responded in the third quarter I thought was outstanding. When, when I talked to our team last night, uh, you know, one thing that I, uh, I pointed out to them is that every opportunity that we have had to respond this year to adversity, we have responded in a great way. And uh, I think that's what championship football teams do. And uh, I'm very proud of them for that. So the Bisons at the half, a 10-7 lead. They will get the football to begin the third quarter, and we'll start looking at third quarter highlights right after this. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest! Houston. 
still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Back on Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bison is up 10-7 at this point at Northwestern Oklahoma. In our highlights as we go to the third quarter, and the Bison would get the football to begin the third quarter and do what the Bison have done all year early in the third quarter. And uh, so pleased with the, with the response, as I said earlier. We converted. That was a third, third down, down and six right there that we converted. Uh, you know, Park's doing a great job running the offense. Look at the hits that he's taking. Uh, just just could not be more happy with these guys the way they responded. Yeah, Park Parish rushed for over 80 yards again on Saturday. And, you know, the, these guys were doing a really good job of uh, taking away some of our perimeter pitch game and toss game and forcing Park to run the football. And That's another third down conversion. Exactly. We're, you know, we're obviously very pleased with the way he's running our offense. There's Michael again. You know, we're... Six yards here, seven yards there. That's the way we played that game. And then we run the toss to Zach. He gets a great block and makes a super cutback and takes the ball into the end zone. And that probably was the biggest offensive play of the game for that us. That looked a lot like the way the third quarter started a week ago. It really did. Yeah. It, it was deja vu. And able to, able to sack a very good Reed Miller right. three times on Saturday. Right. And that was Trayvon, of course. And Trayvon's just been dominant all year long. And... You know, you can see the pressure on him. We're all over him. They're trying to run the football, and that's Scott Milton, who has played super for us all year long. And I think he regretted that, that throw. Uh, but that was Scott making that interception. And what a great series for Scott Milton. Yeah, it sure was. There's the zone dive to Dwayne, who had a great game Saturday. Dwayne was our offensive MVP for that football game. Look at that run on the off-tackle play. He hits that corner. Dwayne played a great game without the football, too. Just really proud of him. And that this drive kind of was a Dwayne Carter show. Yeah. There's the counter play to Eric, who gets the ball down inside the 10. And we run the belly trap to Dwayne right there, and he gets in the end zone. And, and that's the way you want to put the exclamation point on it right there. Great drive by our offense following a turnover. Just a tremendous answer. Bison's up 24-7 right now. Right. And this was, a, you know, they ran the jail screen on us, and you can see Corey Bassett from behind pops that ball loose. Ja'Cory Nichols with the recovery, who's a true freshman for us. And, boy, that was a tremendous defensive play. And here's Romar Reeds with the ball in the open field. Great job by Romar. Got him off sides and we throw the freeze play to Andrew. I think that was a 29 yard completion. And we're moving into the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter, I think every one of us over on our side was like, let's run the football and get this football game over. <laughs> you were looking uh, at the clock also. I no was saying, go clock, go. <laughs> no question about it. Great job again by our defense. Great pressure by Deontay Garrett, Cordell Zielinski. Uh, that was Arthur Akers with the knockdown. Midline again with Park. And we've got, you can see the guy was just under tremendous pressure all day. And that's L.J. Smith with the sack. Great job by L.J. I think you can see there that Corey's not going to get close to that. No. That bouncing ball. Did not rain in the second half, but uh, still wet conditions on the field. And good to see Terrence getting the ball game. And Terrence did a great job of running our offense in the short time he was in there. Uh, that's a handoff to Dwayne again. Converted a first down. I think we ran one more play. And uh, realized that we could run the clock out. And there's our favorite. <laughs> Favorite formation, and <laughs> Jensen got me, no doubt about it. But man, what a wonderful celebration. I was never been happier in my life to get a Gatorade bath. <laughs> so the final again, the Bisons won it 24 to seven. You see uh, the uh, celebration will begin here in just a few moments for the, the handshakes after 
if you, northwestern Oklahoma, that's a long trip. Right. And uh, what a great way to return from Alva, Oklahoma, with a conference championship. Well, you, you can look on the schedule of their games this year, and that's been a really tough place mm -hmm. for, sure for anybody to play. Uh, they're they're three and one at home coming into our game. Had a barn burner with Washita uh, there, and uh, they ended up losing that game. But you know the only two games they lost at home ha have been Washita and Harding, and uh, that's an indication of how that football program has improved. I've been very impressed with with them and the way they played this year, and uh, that was a quality win for us. Like you said, on the road, long road trip, uh, coming off a stretch of games where you know it's been. We, we've been extremely challenged mm -hmm. each week and knew that this game was going to be a challenge. And you throw in the weather conditions at the beginning of the game, I was just really, really pleased with our football team and the way they responded. The time of possession is such a big, such a big deal. 78 plays your team ran. Right. And Northwestern Oklahoma, we talked about how good Reed Miller is. Only uh, with 24 rushes uh, in the game, they ran 60 plays in the game. And that, that's an outstanding quarterback and able to hurry him. The defensive line I thought was super. They kept pressure on him all day. And as, as you and I have talked about many times when we've done this show, Billy, that's the way we like to play football. Uh, run the ball, dominate the time of possession, keep good offenses off the field, allow our defense to play rested and aggressive, and uh, it worked just the way we wanted it to on Saturday, and we were able to overcome the turnovers in the first half and uh, still convincingly win the football game. So, big day. So, the Bison's Great American Conference champions as they are victorious 24-7, the final score on Saturday. We're going to step away right here, come back and get a question from a fan for Coach right after the break. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. Find fun activities to do, like boating and biking, or camping and hiking, plus much more. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee after the Bison's victory on Saturday, 24-7. to It's time now to check in with a question from a fan for Coach Huckabee. Hi, Coach Huckabee. It's Mitchell Brooks from Brighton, Michigan. Got a quick question for you. Um, you're having a historic season this year, obviously. Um, Ten wins in a season, first time that's been done at Harding since uh, 1972. Since you're doing so well, has it affected the way that you coach? Have you had to take a different approach in practices um, since you're doing so well, or has it remained the same? Great question. Uh, I would say yes and no. It has affected me in that, man, I have really enjoyed every week of this season. <laughs> I mean, it's been so much fun. And uh, I think I, it, knowing that it's my last season to coach at Harding, it has caused me to enjoy the little things even more each week, uh, like watching the guys warm up before practice, our time together that we call team prayer before we actually get the practice started, and then being able to walk around and watch the different position groups work. Uh, that's, it's, it's been more evident to me uh, of uh, how special a football program I've been blessed to be involved uh, with, uh, our program is. And, uh, but the other thing is, it, it, it hasn't affected me in the fact that our process hasn't changed. Uh, our process has remained the same for several years. Uh, we've talked about it, how we play ball. Uh, you know, we work really hard in practice on doing the little things right. Ball security, uh, the little, in our offense, the little six inch steps that you have to take to make the things work. That's all stayed the same and, and that's a comfort to me. Uh, I was talking to someone the other day about uh, their work and, and a, a problem that they were having and they were asking for my advice and I said, when things are not going the way you want to, 
Look back at your fundamentals. Return to your fundamentals and, and reemphasize those. Reemphasize your commitment to those fundamentals. And our football team has done a great job of that this year. And I think a big part of that is the assistant coaches that I'm blessed to work with and what a great job they do every single day of, of keeping our guys focused on the fundamentals. And the other thing is the senior leadership on this team. Uh, it's, just, it's just been a blessing to be a part of it. And we're not done. <laughs> we're looking forward to the, to the game this week and, and then what comes after that. And reflecting back right there, before the season started with that question, I'll follow it up with, you compared it to your senior season. That year, the Bisons obviously won a conference championship, right. a share, right. and uh, this has worked out pretty good in your senior season here. Uh, I would say so. Uh, it's been a blessing every, every step of the way, and uh, just want to continue to savor it and enjoy every minute of it. All right. Coach talked about... One more regular season game that's coming up on Saturday. It is against Arkansas Tech, and we'll get his thoughts on that and preview that game right after this. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more, that one day, I would make people smile. They say that when you're facing extreme danger, your life flashes before you. If you think that's sad, consider facing it before you even have enough life to flash before your eyes. Deaths and injuries can be prevented by using the right car seat. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to know what is appropriate for each age and size. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bisons will be at home for the final regular season game of the season this week when they play Arkansas Tech. Before you talk about Arkansas Tech, Coach, I want you to talk about the seniors. Obviously, we'll honor <laughs> the seniors on, on Saturday and what a group this is. Now, if I start talking about each individual seniors, we'll be here for a long, right, long time. Right, right. Uh, just the group, though. Yeah. But obviously a very, very special group. Uh, as we've said before, they took control of this football team from the very first meeting. And uh, they have set a tremendous example. It's, it, and by taking control, what I mean by that is with their leadership and their example, they have taken control of this football team. They have approached every workout. Uh, with uh, an extreme sense of urgency. They have uh, you know, kept us focused throughout the off season and the summer. Uh, they, they kept each other, communicated with each other. They've just done a great job of leading this football team and we are really, really going to uh, miss the uh, imprint that these guys have had on this team. Uh, very proud of this group. Now talk about Arkansas Tech and the game. It's a good Arkansas Tech team coming in that beat the Bisons a year ago over in Russellville and uh, a lot to play for on Saturday. A lot to play for. We've got our work cut out for us. This is a good football team. They're six and four right now. They have had some ups and downs this season, but I guarantee they'll be up this Saturday. Uh, very talented football team. You know, this is a team that went, uh, went to a bowl game last year and had a convincing win over uh, Eastern New Mexico and the Heart of Texas Bowl. Uh, a lot of, lot of returning players from, from that team. They always do a great job against our offense. Coach Monica is a former defensive coordinator at Temple University for eight years. They played Navy every year. He has a great understanding of what we do offensively and they'll, be, they'll have a great plan against us. And, uh, their offense is very dynamic. Uh, their quarterback is, is a great athlete. He's a run pass threat. Uh, they've got a big running back. They've got several running backs that are good players, a lot of good receivers, a giant offensive line. And uh, they're just a very solid, sound football team. And uh, we've got a it's, – it's really good. It's a good thing. And uh, we talked about it with the team last night and said, uh, you know, honestly, the playoffs start this week for us because what we do Saturday is going to have a great impact on the playoff picture and where we're seated and whether we get a, to host a home game or not. So we've just decided as of last night that we're going to start the playoffs this week and, and our first opponent is Arkansas Tech and that's how we're going to 
that's how we're going to approach it. All right, look forward to the game on Saturday. Congratulations again on clinching the conference championship last Saturday. Thank you, Billy. That's all of our time this week on Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. We hope to see you at First Security Stadium. Don't forget, 2 o'clock kickoff on Saturday afternoon, Senior Day, as Arkansas Tech will be in town. We'll see you next time.